A tall, rangy, talented teenager named Filip Ergovic cemented himself as a name to watch when he beat Rudolf Jozic in 2008 to win the Croatian Junior National Championships. He would come second the following year and win it again in 2010. That same year, he would also come runner-up in the Croatian National Championships. He also made his mark on the international scene in 2010, here at the Youth World Championships in Baku, fighting in the semi-final against a young Joseph Parker, who would later go on to be world champion in 2016. Hergovic beat the New Zealander in a competitive fight, setting up a showdown in the final with future Olympic champion Tony Yoka of France. The gold medal fight was also competitive, but Hergovic was able to land the cleanest scoring blows, taking gold and really announcing himself on the international scene. Hergovic would also go on to have his first World Series of Boxing fight in that same year. The WSB is the only professional style tournament where boxers retain their Olympic eligibility. The Croat would dominate his first fight against Turkey's Remzi Ozbek, scoring multiple knockdowns. Hergovic, who at different times competed for both Paris United and the Kazakhstan-based Astana Arlens, would go on to stamp his mark as one of the most successful fighters in the tournament's history, winning 26 of his 30 fights between 2010 and 2015, including winning his final seven fights in 2015, the last six all by stoppage. Along the way, he picked up some notable wins, one against Germany's Alexander Povinov, another against Russian Sergei Kuzmin. One notable loss, though, was a split decision loss in February 2013 to a very raw Joe Joyce, who had only stepped up to the World Series of Boxing a few months earlier. Some thought Hergovic had done enough to win that fight. And I'll come back to his final WBS fight shortly, as it's key to his Olympic aspirations. The standout amateur, who was growing into his eventual 6 foot 6 frame, was known for his power, skill and fluid style. Comparisons began to be drawn with his fighting style and Ukrainian champion Vitaly Klitschko. He was turning heads and subsequently asked into training camps of heavyweight contenders and former champions alike. Hergovic gave David Hay a cut inspiring over his left eyebrow in 2013, which required stitches, and ultimately led to Hay's fight with Tyson Fury being cancelled. That following year, Hergovic acted as one of Kubrat Pulev's main sparring partners ahead of the Bulgarian's failed title shot against Vladimir Klitschko. He was quoted as saying the two dozen rounds of sparring he had with Pulev was very beneficial. Later, he would also act as a sparring partner for Vladimir Klitschko, helping the dethroned champion prepare for his fight for Anthony Joshua in April 2017, which he ultimately lost. Klitschko, though, had high praise for the work that the Croatian had been giving him in training camp. While Hergovic was expanding his experience in high-profile camps from 2013 onwards, he didn't neglect the local Croatian scene and kept dominating it, winning six consecutive senior titles between 2011 and 2016. All the training, hard work and seasoning as an amateur on the international stage was building towards one event, the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. Hergovic would be among the earliest to qualify for the super heavyweight division, securing his place at the Games well over a year out in April 2015. The Rio berth was confirmed after his World Series of Boxing win over an Italian opponent in the 14th round of that season's competition. It would be his final ever WBS fight. After qualifying for Rio, an elated Hergovic stated, Here I come. I have won the Olympic visa in front of my family, my girlfriend and many dear people. Thank you. Thank you everyone, especially my coach. We're going to Rio. A few days later he was quoted as saying, I was able to return Croatian boxing to the Olympics and now I am preparing for the realisation of my dream, winning Olympic gold medal. I wanted to secure the Olympics visa now so I'd have time to prepare for the best. I did half the work. And in Rio, I want to make my dream come true. I know I can handle the best in my category. I've won most of them with a little luck and good preparations. Expect good news from Rio. I said that my dream was Olympic gold and it would allow me to easily enter professional boxing. 
The Croatian Olympic Committee president at the time stated, from Filip Hergovic, I expect a big score in Rio de Janeiro. 2015 would be capped off with gold at the European Championships. At the Rio Games, Hergovic advanced to the round of 16 with a bye. His first opponent was Turkey's Ali Erin Demirizian, an opponent he'd faced earlier in 2016 and beaten. And he would repeat that winning feeling with a unanimous decision over Demirizian. Later on Instagram, Hergovic would say this was one of his favourite moments from the Rio Games. In the quarterfinals, a dominant Hergovic was too much for his Cuban opponent, Leonir Pedro, dropping him three times in the fight en route to a second round stoppage. The third knockdown was the thunderous right hand that you see on screen. But Hergovic's dreams of Olympic gold would come unstuck in the semi-finals, losing a split decision to Tony Yoka, who would go on to claim the gold. Hergovic, who claimed the bronze, would later be honoured by his country of Croatia for his efforts, presented an award for extraordinary sports success and for the promotion of sports and the reputation of Croatia in the world. Following the Games, the Croatian was planning to turn pro, but it would be a year before he would do so. In the interim, Hergovic trained and considered approaches from various promoters, and he was a much sought-after heavyweight prospect. His first fight in September 2017 was against the well-travelled journeyman Rafael Zambano Love in Latvia on a World Boxing Super Series card, and he stopped the Brazilian in the first round. A week later, in October 2017, he announced a promotional deal with Team Sauerland. In the official press release, Hergovic stated, It's important to have a strong promoter behind you to guide your career. Team Sauerland have built a lot of world champions in the past. They know how to do their job and together, I think we can make some big things happen. I fought a very experienced guy in my first fight and I was satisfied with my performance. I think I made a good introduction to the professional game. My goals are always big and I'm always looking for the biggest achievements so winning the World Heavyweight Championship is now my number one aim and I believe I will achieve this one day. Promoter Keller Sauerland said we've been tracking Philip for the past seven years so it's with great pleasure that we announce his signing. Philip is a special talent and without a doubt a future heavyweight champion. He has the potential to become a global star and I believe it's only a matter of time before he is world champion. Filip Ergovic has been making great strides as a prospect in the heavyweight division, taking on much tougher opposition than most other prospects at the same stage of their careers. And for the most part, he's looked very good with the Amir Mansour and Kevin Johnson fights, ones that he's passed with flying colours. He was trained by Pedro Diaz in Miami for those two fights, after the pair had linked up in mid-2018. Diaz, who's a renowned trainer, says Hergovic is obsessed by the sport and is very quick to take things on board and follow advice. He says, without a doubt, he has the perfect combination of power, agility, intelligence to become the best fighter in his division. 
His impressive early form has not gone unnoticed, with the Ring magazine shortlisting Hergovic, also nicknamed El Animal, among its prospects of the year for 2018. ESPN also had the Croat at number 8 in its top 15 rising stars for 2019, saying Hergovic throws nice combinations and has a high boxing IQ. Hergovic himself has been quoted by the Croatian media as saying he knows he can match it now with the likes of Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, but first awaits more lead-up fights. Team Sauerland's Nissa Sauerland says, We have a plan in place that will take Philip to the top of the heavyweight division, which is the pinnacle of the sport of boxing. Not only can he become one of the biggest names in Croatian sporting history, but also a global superstar. It remains to be seen how far Filip Hergovic can go and how fast it will take him to get there, but he should be regarded as a name to watch as he is likely to be one of the top fighters in the heavyweight division for years to come. That was the latest episode of The Rise Of. I hope you've enjoyed it and please check out previous episodes featuring F.A. Jagba and Joe Joyce if you haven't already done so. As always, drop a comment, loud and often, Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.